Hello everyone, my name is Anna Saraiva. I hold a PhD in management from Lusiad University and I'm here to give you an introduction to project management. This lesson is divided on four stages. The first one is what is project management? The second one is the role of a project manager and the third stage is understanding projects, understanding the key stages, the artifacts, the documents, the meetings, and the activities of a project manager. And the last one, last stages, focus on the project management methodologies, the benefits and the challenges. So the first stage, what is project management? What project management is all about? As a project manager myself, my role involves overseeing various tasks and activities to ensure that projects are completed successfully. Project management is essentially about taking a project from this initial idea all the way to this completion. It involves a lot of planning and organization. When we start a project, we begin by defining what the project is, what do we want to achieve, and who will be involved. This is really crucial uh, because it sets the foundation for everything that follows. Once we have a clear idea of the project, we move into the planning phase. This is where we create a detailed plan that outlines the steps that we needed to take, the resources that we will need, and the timeline that we will follow. So planning is a critical part of project management because it helps us foresee potential challenges and prepare them in advance. After planning, we, st we start executing the project. This means putting our plan into action and working with our team to get the tasks done. During this phase, the communication is the key. We need to ensure that everyone knows what they are supposed to do and that they have everything they need to do their job well. As the project progresses, we continuously monitor and control, of course, the activities to ensure that everything is going as planned. This involves tracking the, the progress managing any changes that came up and making sure that the quality of the work meets our standards. It's important to be flexible and ready to adapt to any issues that may arise. Finally, when all the work is done, we move into the closing phase. This is where we finalize all the activities, ensure that all deliverables are completed and reflect on what we have learned from the project. It's also a time to celebrate the success of the project and the knowledge of the hard work that everyone was involved. So in summary, project management is about guiding the project from start to finish in an organized and in, in an efficient manner. It involves planning, it involves executing, monitoring and closing projects to achieve specific goals. It's a dynamic and a rewarding progress that requires good communication, good organization, and problem-solving skills. So now we're going to talk about key learning objectives, the expected outcomes. The bullet points. We, we will understand uh, the project management. We will learn about the, the fundamental concepts and the fundamental definitions. We will also see the history and evolution of this profession and of this discipline. Okay? We have to gain insights into the historical development and the evolution of project management. We also see the core functions or familiarize with key functionalities such as planning, resource management, risk management and the crucial one, communication. Also, the role of a project manager. I will show you a video to see how a good project manager should, should be and should react. Okay? So we have to identify the roles, the responsibilities and the expectations of a project manager. Also, the project life cycle. We have to understand the stages of a project life cycle from the, this initiation to the closure. And of course, the methodologies. We will learn about uh, the various project management methodologies, like, for example, Agile and Waterfall, and some hybrid ones. Okay. So, and the expected outcomes. The expected outcomes are uh, the practical knowledge. Okay. We will acquire 
practical knowledge of project management tools and techniques. Another one, another expected outcome, is the strategic skills. We'll try to de develop strategic thinking and planning skills applicable to real-world projects. Another outcome could be the risk mitigation. We will uh, understand the ability to identify and to mitigate risks effectively. Another outcome is the enhanced communication. We have to improve communication skills for stakeholder management and for the team collaboration. Quality management is another expected outcome. We will learn how to implement quality management practices to ensure the project success. The certification readiness. What is the certification readiness? We will prepare for professional certifications such for example PMP, CAPM and Agile certifications. I will tell you what these cycles means, okay? The main bullet points it's the six ones that I presented to you, okay? So we, we will understand all these these objectives and we will try to to accomplish to accomplish these uh, expected outcomes. So what is project management? What is this discipline? What is this profession? What is the definition? So since 1979, that project management is defined by Kersner, by planning, organizing, directing and controlling of company resources for a relatively short term objective that has been established to complete specific goals and specific objectives. Next one by Phillips in 2004, we have another definition of project management. So for, for this author, the project management is the application of knowledge, skills, tools and techniques to project activities to meet project requirements. It's also the practice of planning, organizing and executing the tasks needed to turn a brilliant idea into a tangible product, service or deliverable. Now for the association of project managers, in 2019, we see that project manager management is the application of processes, of methods, of skills, knowledge and experience to achieve specific project objectives according to the project acceptance criteria within agreed parameters. And the last one from the Project Management Institute in 2024, from this year, we see that project management is the process of leading the work of a team to achieve all project goals within the given constraints. 